Okay, time for a look at some software. This is Module 8. It works on the Mac OS and it's pretty simple to use. We're going to take these three clips there, drop them into the media window. There they are. I'm going to come over to the left hand side of the screen, click this little button here, and that's going to create us a layer. I'm going to highlight this layer, I'm going to click on a piece of footage, just uh, take the scale up until it fills the screen. Let's apply a rotation. And now we're going to turn the Luma key on, and that's going to punch holes in all the black part of the screen. We're going to come down here, turn up the background colour. There we go. So we've got some blue. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to turn down the front colour there. So we've now gone from black and white to blue and yellow. I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to change the rotation speed slightly and we're going to change the colours. And Let's put in the auto move, that's great. Let's duplicate this layer one more time. Let's change the colours again. And last but by no means least, we'll offset one of them slightly. You can see from that we've been able to create something pretty funky almost instantly just by a couple of manipulations to a still image. So what else can we do? Let's create two layers and let's drop this image onto the top layer. Let's drop this image onto the bottom layer and see what's happening. We can only see the top layer and uh, we're going to punch a hole in it with the Luma key and we're going to invert the Luma key. Now, uh, background's nice, but it's not as nice as it could be. So uh, let's improve a little bit and let's speed it up. Very, very basic operations in uh, VJ software do things instantly that used to take bloody hours in standard procedure so uh, worth their weight in gold these things the, the only difficulty you're going to have with it is uh, knowing when to stop